get this. All right, baby, here I come. Okay, here I come too. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> let's let's see your shirt now. You like your Dr. Seuss outfit? <clears throat> huh, sweetheart? Do you like it? Yeah. So cute. But it was, but you were doing, but that was so rough. It was rough. <laughs> your head is so big. I'm sorry. Y'all, it is 7.30 and I'm just not cooking dinner. <laughs> Girl, I'm having a very late lunch. Um, I went to the gym today, didn't even work out. Ended up having like an almost two hour conversation with someone who works, excuse Shay, but he's in the bathtub. An almost two hour conversation with someone who works there, just talking about everything. But one thing she did mention, let me turn this TV down, was that, um, cause I was telling her that I was looking into the keto diet and she started shaking her head. She's like me and a couple of other trainers were just talking about how unhealthy that is. Like really, I, I guess they heard of someone who had some, develop a medical issue for their body going into ketosis. I'm like, what? Let me turn off this thing. So I said, okay, maybe I'll second guess that and just do intermittent fasting, y'all. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? No, y'all can't see me. I'm in the shade. I'm in the shade. We're at Walmart. Got a few things. Oh, well, why did everything come up to $50? I just came up here from some dye. I'm dying. Am I the only one that still dyes their blacks? Yeah, I've been dying my, my black clothes black for years, and it makes a big difference. Um, always look like your your clothes are new. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm dying my clothes black this morning. So I came up here for that and a couple other things, clearly. Wow. Um, what's going on? It is Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. Yeah, it's Friday and I know y'all can't see me. So I do apologize. What else is going on? Today is my first day starting intermittent dieting. It is eight o'clock. I can't eat until noon. I ate last night around seven. Uh, so yeah, I can't eat until noon. I basically eat in between noon to like seven. That's my block, and then I can't eat again to noon the day, next day. Now I'm doing uh, rotating days, so I'm only fasting on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. <laughs> I'm not gonna even try on a weekend, girl. But I'm gonna still watch what I eat. And again, I did this two years ago, and I drop up in a, a great amount of weight in a short, short term, short time. Um, so yeah. Anyway. That's what's going on today. Haven't had anything to eat. Drinking plenty of water. Got some more water today. I'm having fish tacos. <laughs> that being said, and I can't wait. Um, and I bought me some ginger ale because my stomach has been a little uh, uh, uh. So yeah, I got me some ginger oh, ale to eat. I was looking for a ginger beer, y'all. When I was pregnant, I my thing were hamburgers. I'm surprised I didn't turn into a hamburger. I didn't do a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> hamburgers and non-alcoholic ginger beer of course yeah I apologize let me try to can I get in some girl why didn't you just do that in the first place um went to the gym yesterday ended up cheat talking to a girl that works there for like an hour and a half and couldn't work out because I had to come home for a meeting so yeah I have a meeting this morning with my manager to discuss my 2017 goals and um, a bonus we get bonuses yearly, which is one of the reasons why I still working at this place. It's not a lot, but girl, it's something. And you know, it's a couple of hundred dollars. Um, so yeah, absolutely. If once I get that, if whatever I get, I'm gonna use that to purchase Jamie and our tickets to go back home in September. I mean, I could pay it out of pocket, but it will be closer to like June or July. Let's just keep it real. Um, but if I get that now, I can go ahead and purchase the tickets now. And uh, yeah. That is it, y'all. Tomorrow is going to be the Jamaican Drift Festival. Oh, girl. You see my hair? This is a braid out that I recorded for you guys. I tried to flat iron my hair last night. I don't know why I tried. I don't know why I do this. I don't know why. I don't know why. That's a gospel song. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I don't know why. It ended up looking like a blowout. And that's what happened two years ago. I have not been able to successfully flat iron my own hair in five years. So, yeah. It just, it reverts back too fast. One, 
Um, and I'm just not that great at it. I'm clocking my own tea. I'm not that good at flat ironing my hair. And my, uh, the, the stylist, Arlette Pender, she flat ironed my hair. She is good. Let me tell you, this is how good she was at flat ironing my hair. Flat ironing my hair. And you guys have seen that quick video of that end result. And I didn't want to tape all that because it was like forever in there. But she didn't add anything to my hair. You know how people do heat protectors? She started on clean, moisturized hair. So once my hair was, she did the blowout, my hair was extremely fluffy and light. She did one pass. She's a professional. She's been doing this for 20 years. One pass, curled, boom. Body. My hair was so body. Oh, okay. She added a <laughs> she added a little bit of serum at the end. Done. My hair was beautiful and it stayed flat. It stayed straight for a while. Granted, I live in Phoenix where there's hardly no humidity. I mean, it's like 20% here on a good day. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, that's. Eat this, eat this. I'll just take it, but I'm not eating it. It looks disgusting. So, um, yeah, I'm not eating nothing, baby. I'm fasting. <laughs> um. Anyway, y'all, yeah, that's what's going on. So I did a braid out, and with a braid out on straightening hair, basically, it's gonna look like waves. Um, at this point, my hair would have been blown out for a little over a week. No, it'll be a week, a week tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to wash it next Wednesday. Cause I'm going into the office Tuesday, girl. I have to tell y'all about that. Not really going into the office. I'm meeting some friends. My old uh, co-worker, my good Judy. I talk to him like every other day. I love him. Um, I'm meeting him and um, let, me, let me back up. Good Judy is clearly a gay friend, okay? For those of you who don't know. I meet up with him and another co-worker Tuesday, but y'all, we're going to a, uh, a restaurant those of you who've been following me for a while, remember when We're I was telling y'all before I got, nah, baby, remember when I was telling y'all before I got married, there was a man, a waiter at a restaurant out here who was flirting with me. We're going to that restaurant, you guys. So we're not going to sit in that area. I know that's for sure. Um, but, uh, girl, he is eye candy. He looks like, what is his name? The guy that plays Wolverine. He looks like a younger version of Hugh Jackman. I mean, he grown. He has to be around 42, 43. He grown. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, mm hmm girl. Anyway, so yeah, that's going on. Like I said, the Jamaican Jack Chicken Festival is tomorrow. I need to stop by giving me some cash because they only take cash at certain of the other oh, venues. Baby, I don't know about that. He got him a kinder egg and now he's struggling. I, I can't help you with that. You struggle with it when we get home. I'll help you with it when we get home, okay, baby? Yeah, I'm just, I'm curious to see what my review is going to be like. I've really tried hard the last year. And in my job, my department, you have, I, I don't like this, but I get it because it's budget, budget. It's all about money. You have to compete for uh, promotions. So you can give it your all. You can do exceeds expectations and not get promoted if someone else did a, a banging job with a client that brought in a lot of money. So I've never had a promotion at this job. Now I had a huge merit increase that I actually, I don't be afraid to do this. I approached my manager the first year she was my manager because this is my second manager at this place. And um, I approached her and was like, I, I need to be paid a little bit more money because I'm taking on all these responsibilities for a long time, not just for a period. For over a year, I was doing the work of three people. And it wasn't even funny. I was the only, I was the team. Now we have a team of five people, but I was the team for a whole year. And you still paying me the money of like a, uh, I don't know. I don't know y'all. So they gave me a good, you know, $8,000 increase. But I know for a fact, only because me and Christine kind of kick it up. I still make about $15,000 less than, than some of the people on my level. Okay, but anyway, I'm not. I, I'll get it. God will bless me, and I'm I'm comfortable. God will bless me in due time. So I'm gonna see how this. Um, we're gonna go, baby. He's gonna, let's go. We're gonna see how this review goes, and um, I'm gonna let her know some things I've been working. It on. is so pretty today. It's like a high. Oh, look at this. Isn't this pretty? I don't know what this is. Some type of gift shop. Oh, this is beautiful. Y'all have to excuse um, in advance with this camera. It's is dirty. 
Um, in daylight. It looks like small. Yes, they're barbecuing down here. <laughs> it's just a Jamaican drink festival. Um, my lens is dirty, and I just haven't had a chance to put take apart my lens. <laughs> Okay. We're an online boutique and we specialize in products that represent us and celebrate us. Okay. So like a lot of our, our products have beautiful artwork, art, art, right. artwork that's Afrocentric, but we also have inspirational oh, products. Yeah. Another Senegalese West African recipe. Yeah. So um, our spiritual guide comes out of West Africa and we put all that into our, cool. our lives and we want to share and give service. Absolutely. And share it so they can also heal as well. Here we go. We're in the shed. Seriously got it. <laughs> so there's bees everywhere. I'm not scared of bees or birds. Do you like chicken, mama? Do I like what, baby? Do you like chicken? I love chicken. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta hold the pencil. Y'all, I've already spent all my cash. I said I would only bring cash up here, so I bought $16 of cash. Got JB that's known comb. And I got some jerk chicken uh, tacos. Girl, it wasn't even spicy. But yeah, I, I can handle spice. On a scale of one to 10, it was about a three. We're in downtown Glendale. I didn't even know didn't, Glendale had a downtown child. So, let's see. I didn't know Glendale had a downtown Me neither. Come on, let's go down here. Yeah. Oh, look at these bootcases are $20. Yeah. They're open. Good. Yeah. Well, hello. How are you? <laughs> Come on in. Check out all my bargains oh, today. Great. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yay. Yay. Let me do one. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here's a toy. Thanks. It's not alive. It's dead. <laughs> Here, you, you, you can have a cheese spreader. What is this? That got really It's a cool. light. It's a light. Yes. We're just looking. We're just looking. Come on, baby. I think, you know what I think, y'all? This right here was, clearly is a, vin a vintage shop, but I just think that they started selling cookies because why not? Why do you think this is scary? No, oh, it's been scary. <laughs> huh, these are houses. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're businesses now. These are all houses though. Have you even discussed it any further? So this one right here says Glendale Flowers. We are Mm hmm This one says this one's closed. Says Peaches Boutique. Yeah, baby, these houses. Let me turn off the car, y'all, because I know this is shaking. Ooh, it's hot though. Let me turn on the window. Um 
We've been out here. We got out here at one o'clock. So yeah, we've been out here for two hours. It's time to go home. I'm hungry. I had some street tacos, as you guys saw, but they were so tiny. Like literally, I got and I'm sure they. Case. I'm sure, yeah, you got a phone case. I'm sure they did this because of the event. Um, it was like an appetizer, girl, so I'm home. Hey, y'all, we are back home. And oh, Jesus, baby, it's okay. Um, this phone case does not fit in my phone. <laughs> I'm Look. so, because I'm not happy. <laughs> he was I'm so, he was so ready to come home and then come to find out that that phone case doesn't even fit, child. I do apologize in advance for the footage, you guys. My, I can see the dirt on the inside from here. I can see the dirt on my camera. Um, but you'll be surprised what you have to do to clean the inside of the camera. You want to know? Okay, let me tell you. First of all, you have to drill a hole on the side of the camera lens itself so that you could put a Q-tip in and clean the side, the inside of it. It's not dirty on the outside, which is why you guys can see me clear, but when I flip it around and tape, normally, and it's only outside where you can really see the dirt. Yeah, um, yeah, and, can, and, you, and you won't be able to put it back together. <laughs> Thanks a lot, JB. You're probably right. So, uh, I mean, I've, I've watched several videos on it. So <laughs> I can't, I can't stand you. I've seen I, several videos on how to do it, and it's the dust is mostly because you. one we're in feet we're in the desert, so there's dust on it. So yeah, um, I wonder if I could use like a can of of that. Uh, that stuff gets cold though. If you put, I don't want to damage my camera. You know what I'm talking about? That dust be gone stuff you use for your office equipment. Um, I wonder if I, there has to be another way to clean the inside of the lens besides drilling a hole and you have to literally tape the lenses down so that they won't move. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, that is going to be it for this vlog. You guys, we're back to shorter vlogs. No more. Look, I say that now. Um, I'm trying to refrain for the 30 minute vlogs. Those were typically when I was vlogging like every two weeks. So we're back. I think we're back on weekly vlogs right now we're in march so once a week we're vlogging uploading monday wednesday for vlogging trying to upload on fridays for hair videos but i got so many coming up that you may get two more than likely we are going to be getting two videos hair videos and then um it was it was a dollar jb anyway y'all i'm trying to tell y'all the schedule Vlogging Monday, Wednesday, hair videos on Friday, series videos, meaning right now we're in um, Living in My Purpose Journey series Saturday. So, um, baby, oh, God. Yeah, I was getting some stares for the, from the opposite S-E-X. It's, it, you know, it, it's good when you, even though, yes, yes, I am married and I don't even look at people like that anymore. I, I, you, you knew that, baby. Um, but it's good to know that, that I still still got it yes even though i have on my onesie right not my onesie but my my at home nightgown um come on babies let's say bye to these people now come on child all right y'all